good morning class uh, 12 children we are again back with our online class hope you all are safe and fine uh, today we'll take up the continuation portion of our english 2 uh, play uh, the tempest written by william shakespeare we are already uh, begun with uh, the remaining portion act 4 scene 1 uh, in the play and uh, as we saw uh, in the beginning uh, uh, that uh, Prospero uh, rewards Ferdinand for he being successfully completing the task of uh, piling the heavy locks and in return therefore that Ferdinand showed he is rewarded with uh, uh, the gift of his uh, daughter Miranda in the hand of Ferdinand however with a warning uh, that uh, Ferdinand should not violate the virginity of Miranda before they get married. Then we entered into uh, the second uh, part of uh, the act, Act First in One, where we saw a mask. And uh, in this mask, we saw the entrance of the uh, spirit characters headed by Goddess Juno, uh, Goddess Ceres, and Goddess Iris. And as we know that, uh, Goddess Juno is the Queen of Heaven. She is a wife of a great god, Jupiter. Uh, she is followed by Ceres, her sister, Juno's sister, who is uh, uh, the goddess of agriculture. And uh, Ceres is none other than uh, Ariel, the dainty Ariel of Prospero. And then comes uh, Iris. Iris is the messenger of goddess Juno. And uh, she is also the goddess of uh, Rainbow. So along with these three uh, godly characters, we also saw the entrance of uh, Nymphs or uh, watery creatures uh, there are uh, um, reapers or harvesters or farmers all these characters do make an entry in the scene in the beautiful attire as uh, instructed by Ariel to them uh, because they are going to witness uh, the small marriage of uh, Ferdinand and Miranda so thus uh, their performance got over or we can say that the mass got over now, what happens in the third section of Act for Scene 1, this is what we are going to see uh, uh, today and hopefully we will uh, bring an end to our Act for Scene 1 in uh, today's online class. So here we begin. So in our uh, last portion where uh, we saw uh, Goddess Juno, Goddess Iris and Iris disappear. Uh, <clears throat> now, how does uh, Ferdinand react? on seeing the appearance of these characters and then performing the mask and then uh, within no time they disappear so look at the reaction of Ferdinand and then we'll see the third section of uh, the play Act First in One where we'll see the conspiracy of Caliban, Trinculo and uh, Stefano who are still on the way to murder Prospero so let's begin so Ferdinand says what is his reaction? Let's find out. See, Ferdinand says to Miranda, this is strange. So he calls the sight what he saw was very, very surprising. The way how the spirits uh, entered, performed their uh, dances and then they vanished as per the instruction of Prospero. So on seeing this, Ferdinand reacts, telling this is very, very strange. It is a very, very strange sight. Your father's in some passion that works him strongly and he looks at Prosper and then says to his uh, would-be wife Miranda your father has been angry for some reason he says that works him strongly that makes him very very disturbed that makes him very very agitated so what could be the reason here Ferdinand inquires Miranda on seeing Prospero's countenance facial expression who looked angry disturbed hesitated now what Miranda says see <clears throat> Never till this day saw I him touched with anger, so distempered. So Miranda has also never noticed uh, the wild um, anger on the face uh, of Prospero so far. So she also says, Never till this day I saw him touched with anger, so distempered, so disturbed. I never saw my father who looked so disturbed, so hesitated, likewise in my life. Right, Miranda says. And then Prospero speaks to Ferdinand. Now Prospero says, you do look, my son, in a mood sort. Now Prosperi speaks to Ferdinand saying, My son, you look really upset. 
as if you were dismayed, as if you are very frightened. So what is the reason? What happened to you? Prosperous says, be cheerful, sir. And he tries to make him comfort, telling, right, my son, be cheerful. Be, be happy, be cheerful, he said. Our rebels now are ended. So our rebels, rebels means celebrations. Our celebrations have come to an end. That means the mask has come to an end. The performance of the dances have now come to an end. These are actors and these who performed just now are all actors. As I foretold you, as I told you before, foretold me, told you before, we're all spirits. So they were all spirit characters who came and then disappeared and are melted into air. Now they are all disappeared into the air, into this thin air, into this thin air. Where are they gone? God knows now. And like the baseless fabric of this vision, baseless fabric of this vision means unreal. The unreal sight that you saw just now, which came and vanished. The cloud capped towers, that means the high rising towers, the gorgeous palaces, the magnificent palaces, the beautiful palaces, the solemn temples, the holy temples, the, the sanctimonious temples, the great globe itself, the great earth itself. Globe refers to earth, where we live in. This whole earth itself will what happen? Yeah, that means yes. All which it inherit and all who live on it shall dissolve, shall melt away. Like the spirit characters who came and disappeared into thin air, likewise, everything present in this earth will also one day come to an end, will get dissolved. And like this insubstantial page and faded, and like this unreal display uh, disappeared, leave not a rag behind, it will leave not floating vapor in the air. There will be nothing left in the, in the earth. We are such a star. So we human beings are such a star. As dreams are made of just like our dreams. That we dream and we take it reality. And when we come to reality, then we understand that, oh, it was a dream. Likewise is the thing that uh, takes place in this earth. And our little life is rounded with a sleep. And little life is completed with a sleep. Our little life is completed with a sleep. Sir, I am vexed. And then he says, Prospero, to... For dinner, sir, I am troubled. My son, I am a bit vexed. Vexed means troubled, disturbed. Bear with my weakness. Have patience with my weakness. My old brain is troubled. My old brain is now disturbed. I am too old a man now. Who is disturbed, he said. Be not disturbed with my infirmity, but you be not disturbed in, with my weakness. Infirmity means weakness. If you be pleased, if you wish, retire into my cell. Now you can go into my cave and take rest. And then repose and take rest. Repose means take rest. A turn or two, I'll walk this till my beating mind. I'll take a turn or two walk out here to calm my disturbed mind. Beating mind means disturbed mind. I just want to uh, take a one to walk here so that I can uh, become normal. I can calm my disturbed mind. So you both can retire. Ferdinand and Miranda, both of them say together, we wish your peace. So they speak together saying, Father, we wish your peace. And then they exhort. They take leave. They enter into the cave. Prospero then says, Come with a thought. I thank the Ariel. Come. Now, it was uh, pretentious of Prospero to act likewise because uh, he was wanting to uh, have Ariel um, come in front of him and uh, uh, give him the, uh, the rest of the work that he would, uh, that he would want to give it to him. That's why he wanted the clearance of Ferdinand and Miranda. So Prospero then calls Ariel, come quickly, my dainty Ariel, my favorite Ariel, come, I have a work for you. So enter Ariel on the call made by Prospero. Ariel then says, thy thoughts I cleave to. That means I am ready to obey your orders. I am obey to I am ready to obey your commands, Master. What is it? What is the what is thy pleasure? What is that I have to do? Prospero says, Spirit. <clears throat> we must prepare to meet with Caliban. So we must prepare. Prepare means get ready. Now we must get ready to meet Caliban. Here Prospero says. So now we can understand why is Prospero hesitated. Prospero is disturbed because with his magical knowledge, uh, he uh, saw uh, and understood the approach of Caliban with uh, his associates, Trinculo and Stefano, to murder him. That's why he wanted Ariel to be assigned with some work. 
Now Ariel, then he replies, A my commander. That means yes, my master. I'm ready. Let's go. When I presented Cyrus, I thought to have told the opponent, but I feared lest I might anger the and then Ariel says, when I present it, that means when I introduce myself as Ceres, as I already said in the mask, uh, Ariel was Ceres. The character Ceres was uh, played by Ariel. So he told now, when I presented Ceres, when I introduced myself as Ceres, I thought to have told thee of it. So I thought of telling you about uh, Caliban and his associate. But I feared, but I was frightened, lest I might anger thee. Lest means otherwise, I would make you angry because you were in a jubil mood, you were in a happy mood, you were in the mass celebrating uh, the small marriage of Ferdinand and uh, Miranda's. So how could I disturb you? So I thought not to disturb you. So I did not say anything. Here Ariel told his master Prospero. Then Prospero says, see again, where didst thou leave thy, these wallets? Then Prospero says, now you see, where did thou where did you leave these valleys? Valleys means rogues, scoundrels, mischievous. Where you uh, left these um, scoundrels, these rogues, these valleys? Who are these? These are Caliban, Stevano, and Jingle. Prospero asks. Then Ariel responds, I told you, sir, they were red hot with drinking. So Ariel says, I told you, sir, these characters were red hot with drinking. They were fully drunk. They had become uh, red because they were fully drunk so full of valor but they were full of courage that they smote the air that they smote smote means they were uh, beating the air that they were challenging the air the wind for breathing in their faces because the wind was blowing on their faces so look at the funny thing that uh, these valleys were doing uh, the wind uh, was blowing on their faces and uh, they were angry they were dead drunk they did not know what they were doing so they were challenging the wind, they were challenging the air and beating in the open air. Yet always bit the, uh, bit the ground for kissing of their feet and they bit the ground also because they were walking on the ground and uh, they feel that uh, the ground is kissing their feet and they were beating the ground. Yet always bending towards their project. So their act was of madness. What uh, Caliban and his associates did, that was an act of madness. They were beating the open air and they were beating the ground see yet always bending to the towards their project but they were kept on they were in their mind to murder prospero then i bet my tabor then seeing this ariel uh, he started beating his musical instrument tabor tabor is a small drum that he started beating at which like unbacked calls on listening to his drum beat <clears throat> at which like unbacked coals, unbacked coals means young horses, they prick their ears, the three of them uh, prick their ears to listen to the music, to this invisible music, advance their eyelids and they raise their eyelids, they wanted to see who the drum uh, drama is, lifted up their noses, they even began, uh, began to smell, as they smell music, because uh, they thought that they would know the musician so they began to look here and there to find out who the drummer is so i charm their ears so i cast a smell uh, spell on their um, ears that means ariel did magic mbozambu on their ears that calf like they my blowing followed through to priors star phrases pricking rolls and thrones then what did ariel do ariel applied magic on their ears that just like the calf, baby cow, follows the lowing of the mother, likewise the three of them followed the music played by Ariel. Through, through bias, that means through all difficulties, no doubt okay, the difficulties came on their way, but they crossed, they tried to cross the difficulties. Sharp phrases, sharp phrases are the throny plants, pricking grows, grows are the shrubs, <clears throat> and okay, thrown thrown plants so they did not <clears throat> hinder uh, the uh, shrap um, trudges uh, thrones uh, did not hinder the walk of the three caliban stevan and chinkalo because they were magically charmed by ariel who entered their frail sins so who 
which pierced their weak legs as the three of them walked over the throny bushes. The thrones pricked their uh, weak uh, legs. <clears throat> At last I left them in the filthy mantle pool beyond your sin. And where did I bring them? I brought them in the filthy mantle pool. That means they were, uh, they were uh, uh, immersed in the dirty weeds covered pool. That was beyond, that was at the back of Prosperous Sin. They are dancing up to their chins, that the whole lake overstung their feet. When the three fell into that filthy mantle pool, which is a wheat covered dirty water, uh, the three of them were not able to get out of this pool. So they were, uh, they were the, uh, immersed in the dirty water pool. That's what uh, here Ariel reports, where uh, he had left the three of them um, and uh, tells uh, uh, briefs out uh, Prospero about this. Then Prospero compliments Ariel. What did he say? See? <clears throat> this was well done, my lord, my bird. He says, this was very well done, my dear bird, because Ariel is a bird. He played the role of a harpy at the same time. Thy shape invisible retain thou still. So I want you to keep the same shape as you are invisible say that uh, Ariel was <clears throat> the trumpery in my house go bring it there now he assigns another work for Ariel he tells Ariel go bring uh, the trumpery in my house trumpery means uh, the beautiful looking garments so get the beautiful looking garments from my house from my cell for still to catch these thieves for still it still means bait just like a fisherman baits the fish uh, with the fishing rod and hook likewise we have to now bait the three uh, murderers, Caliban, Stephen, and Trinkle. Ariel then says, I go, I go. So Ariel uh, quickly uh, <coughs> uh, follows this task. He uh, says, I go, I go, I'm going now, I'm going now, and he went. Now Prospero uh, speaks a soliloquy. He speaks to himself. So what he speaks is, <coughs> this is a very, very um, famous um, line as well in the play. I want you to underline. Uh, this very particular part, uh, if you are with your book, please see. Prospera says, A devil, a born devil, on whose nerd, nature, nurture can never stick. So Prospera speaks about Caliban. Caliban is a devil. He is a born devil. On whose nature, nurture can never, never, never stick. So uh, his nature is such that any uh, nurture taking care, to take care of, will never improve Caliban. So this is a very, very uh, important line as far as Caliban's character is concerned. So you can underline these lines and write when it comes to writing Caliban's character. I say again, a devil, a born devil on whose nurture, on whose nature nurture can never stay. That means Caliban is a devil, he is a born devil on whose nature uh, taking care of cannot be improved. On whom my pains humanly taken, so I have but taken a lot of pain in order to make him human, in order to make Caliban human, all, all lost, quite lost. But everything is lost in teaching him because he learned nothing. And as with age, his body uglier grows. And as he grew up, he became uglier and uglier. So his mind cankers and his mind also became malicious. Cankers means malicious, harmful. There is... Uh, no mind to take care of anything. Whenever he sees anything, he thinks of harming it. That sort of mind is of Caliban's. I'll plague them all. So I'll torture them all. I'll torture Caliban. I'll torture Stevano and Trinculo. Even to roaring. That means they, that they shall cry because of extreme pain. Here Prospero says in his soliloquy. Enter Ariel. That means Ariel makes his re-entry. Laden with Glistering apparel, etc. So he comes back okay, with beautiful looking garments, and then Prospero tells him, Come, hang them on this line. So he then tells Ariel to hang these cloths uh, on the lime tree. So <clears throat> here uh, Prospero tells um, Ariel that uh, to fit a uh, wire or a string in between the two lime trees and then hang these beautiful garments. This is for baiting the murderers. Prosper and Ariel remain invisible. So after hanging the cloths or the garments in between the two lime trees, then the two become invisible and they um, 
uh, stay there and watch what happens next. Now, after some time, enter Ariel, Stevano, entering to the orbit. Now, this is the beginning of the third section, uh, which is uh, the second conspiracy of Calvin, uh, whose accomplices are Stevano and Trinkle. So, all three of them enter now. Calvin speaking to his friends. Calvin says, Pray you trees softly. So as they draw near to Prosperous Cave or Prosperous House where he lives, Calvin tells his partners, Pray you treat softly. So I request you to walk very softly. That the blind mole refers to Prospero. That Prospero may not hear a footfall. That Prospero should not hear the slightest footsteps. Otherwise, he will punish us. You will know what we are up to. We now are near his cell. We are very close to his cave now. Stevano says to Calvin, Monster, you monster, you fairy, your fairy, which you say is a harmless fairy, has done little better than play the jack with us. So Estevano now says, you monster, your fairy, who was leading us, that is the musician, the drummer, which you say is a harmless fairy, which you said that it was harmless because you already told us that in this island you hear different sounds, different uh, music, but be not frightened. Don't be <clears throat> bothered of all these noises here because this island is very safe. Caliban had told this to Stefano. So now Stefano replies back. He says, You monster, you are fairy, you are the musician who is okay leading us now. Um, you said that is harmless, but you see what he has done to us. He has played a joke on us. He has um, played naughty on us because where we are now we are fallen into the uh, we are uh, we are uh, we are uh, driven uh, to where uh, God knows God knows uh, nowhere now see Trinkle says <coughs> monster I do smell at horse piece at which my nose is in great indignation indignation is anger so Trinkle says monster I do smell horse piece everywhere in my body because in that pool where they have fallen into Right? Here Trinculus says that uh, he is smelling of horse piss because the water that was in the pool was horse piss. He, that was done by Ariel's magic. So he is now smelling full of horse piss. And so it is making me very angry. Here Trinculus said to Caliban that Estevano says, <coughs> so is mine. So Estevano also says, same thing with me. Even okay, I am smelling the same. The horse piece, okay, all over my body. <clears throat> Do you hear, monster? He shouts. If I should take a displeasure against you, look you. Then Estevano shows anger at uh, uh, Calvin. If I become angry, then you know what I shall do. So he threatens. Trinkle says, Thou word but a lost monster. A lost monster. Then Trinkle cracks a joke on it. And if uh, really Estevano gets angry, monster, you're gone. You're finished. He turns. Then Calvin says, <clears throat> Good, my lord. Give me thy favor still. So give me your favor to enjoy for some time. Have patient. Right, be patient. Have patience, he said. For the prize I'll bring thee to, for the reward I'm bringing to you. So would being his, this missions will make you forget all these bad happenings, this sad happening, this missions where we have fallen into. You'll forget everything. Therefore, he speaks softly. That's why he speaks softly. All past as midnight is. So let it be silent like midnight. Here Caliban says, suggest his friends. Tringle says, A means yes, but to lose our bottles in the pool. But we have lost the very precious thing we had, that is the wine bottle. We lost it in the pool. Right? That's what here Tringle says. So it's a great misfortune with us to uh, having lost uh, the wine bottle. Then Stevan says, <clears throat> there is not only disgrace and dishonor in that monster but an infinite loss. So Estevano says that is not only disgrace and dishonor in having lost the bottle but it is an infinite loss. That means the loss of a uh, wine bottle is uh, uh, or you can say cannot be calculated. It cannot be calculated. Here Estevano says. Then Trinculo says that is more to me than my waiting. That is that is more to me than waiting my clothes with our space. Yet this is your harmless fairy monster. Yet you call this fairy harmless. Here Trigula said. Fairy is aerial. Here. Then 
Estimana says, I wish fetch of my bottle, though I be over years for my labor. So Estimana says, I will fetch off my bottle. That means I'm going back to the pool to get back my wine bottle. Though I be over years for my labor. That means even though I am to dip inside that horse piece, right up to my ear height to get that bottle out. Here Estivana says. So how much he loves his bottle, you see. Right, he's even ready to go back to the same horse piece and uh, dip himself into his ear height and then find the bottle, the wine bottle. Calvin says, Preeti means I request you, my king, be quiet. See, thou here. Now you see here, he tells, this is the mouth of the cell. So this is the entrance of Calvin. Uh, Calvin says, this is the entrance of Prospero's cell. No noise and enter. Now we make no noise. Let us enter now. Enter now. Do that good mischiefs which may make this island thine or own favor forever. So do that good mischiefs. Do that good naughty which may make this island thine own forever, which will make this island yours forever. And thy and I, thy Caliban, and I, your Caliban, for a thy foot leaker, right? It will, uh, I'll become your servant, I'll become your slave, I'll become your foot leaker, right? Here, Caliban shows the future of Stephen that he shall become the king once you enter this cave and finish Prospero, and I become your servant, right? So, here, Caliban uh, wanted to exaggerate. Uh, Stefano to come into uh, the murderous action that was what he is uh, wanting him to do it then Stefano says give me thy hand so let me have a handshake with you I do begin to have bloody thoughts and he says now I am going to be I am going to have murderous thoughts in me I want to murder now here uh, Stefano says and then Tinkler says oh King Stefano oh Pierre oh Pierre means oh my dear friend Oh, what is Stefano? Look what a wardrobe here is for thee. And look what a wardrobe means. Uh, the Almira of Clots is kept for you here. So, meanwhile, Trinculo's eyes fall into uh, the, uh, the, the hung cloths, the beautiful apparels, in order to bait uh, the three of them. So, Trinculo's eyes fall on these beautiful cloths and he sold uh, to Stefano. Look here how beautiful these cloths are. Calvin says, let it alone, the fool, it is but trash. But Calvin tries to um, um, uh, di divert the attention of Trinculo's and of Estevanos towards murder. So here Calvin says, leave it alone, let it be. You fool, it is but trash, it is worthless thing, it is worthless stuff. Right, leave it. Here Calvin says, because right now we are on the way to murder. Let's carry on with it. Forget about what is in the middle. Here Calvin says, Trinculo says, Oh, oh, monster, we know what belongs to a fipery. Fipery means the second hand saw or second hand cloths. So, Tinkler says, Oh, monster, you don't know the value of second hand cloths. That means Tinkler has been wearing so far the second hand cloths and he likes wearing second hand cloths. So, on seeing the cloths hung there, here look at Tinkler's mind got diverted towards them. And thus, Tinkler says, We value the fipery. That means we value the second hand clothings. He takes a robe from the tree and puts it on and uh, he soon takes uh, one uh, garment from there and then he wears, right? Oh, King Stefano and becomes very happy and happily shows it to his friend, his partner, Stefano. Look at me. He says, Oh, King Stefano. He has already assumed Stefano as the king of this island. Stefano says, put off that gown, Trinculo. And Stefano also gets the interest now. So take that uh, garment off from your body, he tells to Trinculo, right? And reaches for it and himself goes to uh, snatch that cloth which was worn by um, Trinkulu. By this hand I'll have that gown. So he says, by this hand this belongs to me. This is mine. Right? I want to wear it. Here Estevano says, Trinkulu says, thy grace shall have it. And then Trinkulu bows down and then says, your honor sir, sir, okay, take this. And he gives that cloth to uh, Estevano to wear. Calvin says, the dropsy drowned this fool. So he says, may this fool be tormented. May this fool be tortured. Because Caliban knows the importance of losing the time. He is wanting to finish the game as soon as the possible. But the two got engaged in choosing the cloths now. So Caliban then says, the dropsy drowned this fool. That means, may this fool be tormented. What do you mean to dot thus on such luggage? So he says, what do you mean by craving, by desiring such uh, luggage? Luggage means rubbish cloths. Leave it, he says. Let it alone. Leave it. 
and do the murder first. Let us be on with the murder. Let's first kill Prospero. If we awake from door to crown, he'll fill our schemes with pinches, make a strange stone. If he awake, that means if Prospero is awakened, because they assume that Prospero by now would be sleeping, having his siesta, that was the habit of Prospero, right? So if he awake from toe to crown, from head to uh, head to uh, feet, he will fill our skin with pinches. So he will be uh, he will be using his uh, goblins, um, urchins, um, all those tiny tiny creatures uh, to pinch us all our body and make us strange stuff. And he will make us miserable. Our condition will be very bad. Here Calvin says. Stevano says, be you quiet monster. But Stevano did not listen to the warning of um, Calvin. He says, you be quiet monster. Mistress line, is not this my jerkin? And then Stevano speaks to uh, Trinculo. Right? He says, mistress line. He looks at uh, uh, another cloth and says that, is this not my jerkin? Jerkin means jacket. Is this jacket not mine? He says, removes it from the tree. And he removes from the tree the lime tree now is the jerkin under the line and he says now i have taken out the jacket from the tree now it belongs to me now jerkin you are like to lose your hair and prove a ball jerkin and then he says wearing it now i'll wear this jacket and then i'll keep wearing it for 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 long long time till uh, the color fades i'll not open it here is tamana says he liked this jacket so much it means Tringola says do do that means i agree agree you look very good we still by line and level and like your grace. And he says, we still in a very systematic way as uh, it pleases us. Here, uh, Trinculo says, right? Then Istivana says, I thank thee for that jest. So I thank thee for that joke. Here Istivana says to Trinculo, here is a garment for it. And here is a garment for you as a reward because you have uh, spoken a very good thing, right? He takes a garment from the tree and gives it to Trinculo. So he takes another garment, another cloth from the tree and gives as a reward to Trinculo. For having spoken such good phrase then he tells wit shall not go unrewarded while i am king of this country and he says a witty remark shall not go unrewarded that means any witty remarks whoever says will be rewarded when i am the king of this island he says still by line and level he is an excellent pass of fate and he says still by line and level he is an excellent use of stroke of wit here uh, stevano praises uh, Trinculo's uh, intelligence of using the phrase and so he gave one um, a garment as a reward to him and then he takes another garment and gives it to him he takes another garment and gives it to Trinculo he is highly pleased with the phrase that uh, Trinculo used there is another garment for it he says there is another reward for you take this too Trinculo then says monster come put some line on your fingers and away with the rest and then Trinculo says, Monster, he calls Caliban, come put some lime on your fingers. That means you also uh, pick uh, some of the cloths hung out here and away with the rest. And you take the rest of them, he says. Yeah. Because uh, he, here uh, too, uh, he has used some good uh, or beautiful phrase saying that, put some lime on your fingers. That means the bird catches, what do they do? Uh, in order to catch the bird, uh, the bird catches uses uh, sticky lime on the tree branch when uh, the bird sits uh, or perches on the tree branch uh, they get stuck out there right because it's sticky likewise here okay Trinculo says to monster Caliban monster you also uh, pick some of the choices of the class that you would like to wear you take it he says Caliban says I'll have none on it but Caliban opposes saying that no I don't want to wear any of the cloths we shall lose our time we are wasting time here he says and all be turned to barnacles and everything will turn shellfish barnacle means shellfish or to apes or to monkeys with foreheads well in a slow and whatever thoughts we have will everything get finished here Calvin says so we will not use uh, uh, will better use time and march ahead to uh, muddle first he still is telling his friends let us forget all these things Sivana says monster Lay to your fingers, he says, lend me your hand. Right. Help to bear this away. And he gives a bundle of cloths to Caliban. You carry this, help me. Where my hog's head of wine is, where I have kept my barrel, wine barrel. Or where I have kept my large cask of barrel, of wine. You take it there. 
or I'll turn you out of my kingdom, go to carry this, or I'll take you out of this kingdom. I am already the king, he assumes himself. And uh, now you carry this, if you don't carry this, I'll kick you out from the, my, uh, my, king, uh, my country. Right? Now carry this, he says. Trinculo also uh, adds more, saying that, and this, you carry this too. Right? Caliban is given now uh, more loads to carry. Stephanus says, yes, hey, and this, you carry this also. So he gave a bundle of cloths to, to be carried by Caliban. They give Caliban the remaining garments, and the remaining garments they give it to Caliban. A noise of hunters heard that very moment, a noise of hunters heard suddenly, enter diverse spirits, enter several spirits in shape of dogs. These are all dogs and hounds, the hunting dogs, hunting them about. Now they are chased by the hunting dogs. Prosper and Ariel setting them on. So whose work is this? This work is of Prosperous and Ariel. By their magic, the spirits are turned into dogs, the hunters, the hunting dogs, and the hunting dogs began to bark from every corners and began to chase the three or murderers. Caliban, Stephen, and Trinkle. Prosperous house being invisible. Hey, mountain, hey. Mountain is the name of the dog. He is chasing the dog telling the dog to go and chase this three. Ariel also shouts on the other side, Silver! Silver is another name of dog. There goes Silver. There they are. Right? Chase them out. Here Ariel shouts. Prospero says, the other, okay, dog, Fury, Fury, run after them. Chase them. There, Tyrant. There, Tyrant. Tyrant is another name of dog. There, hard, hard. Listen, listen. Listen to the noises and chase them out. And we see the hunting dogs whose names are Mountain, Silver, Fury, right, and the rest, right, are chasing the three of them. And we see the three of them running here and there. Caliban, Esteban, and Trinculo are driven out. So their uh, murder is foiled again. So this is the second time their murder uh, conspiracy is foiled, right? Go, charge my goblin, and then Prosper says, go. Right, order my fairies. Goblins are the fairies, tiny, tiny creatures, that they grind their joints with dry convulsions. That uh, these uh, three uh, would be uh, uh, pained with their muscle cramps, shorten of their sinews. Sinews are the muscles with age cramps. Let their muscles be cramped, tighten and cramped, and more pinches spotted make them than pard or cat of mountain, and let them be pinched from every where so so that they uh, just like the part part is that your part of mountain have the spotted body likewise their body should look with all uh, everywhere pinching and pinching right let them suffer that's what here prospero orders his fairies to do ariel then says hark they roar and then ariel tells listen they are roaring with the pain right uh, the three of them are um, here uh, uh, heard roaring now with pain. Prospero then says, let them be hunted soundly. Let them be hunted uh, uh, soundly means uh, not that very harsh. At last here Prospero uh, takes mercy. At this hour lies at my mercy all my enemies. So at this time all enemies are under my control. Shortly shall my labors end and very soon I am going to finish my hard work, he says, and thou shall have the air of freedom and Ariel you shall also be given your freedom, that is your wish, that is your want. For a little, follow and do me service. But for a short while, follow me and continue doing my service. And thereafter, you will be given your freedom. And this is how Act 4, Scene 1 comes to an end. So here we notice what uh, happened in uh, our Act, Act 4, Scene 1. Uh, it becomes very important because uh, here uh, we saw three uh, important sections in the scene. Uh, beginning with uh, Ferdinand's uh, successful um, uh, piling of logs and uh, uh, receiving uh, Miranda as a reward from Prospero in his life. And then we saw the mask and uh, mask becomes very important as I told. Uh, uh, this is uh, the performance done by the godly uh, um, characters which included uh, uh, Goddess Juno, Goddess Ceres and Goddess Iris being accompanied by uh, reapers, nymphs, uh, harvesters, etc. And after the disappearance of uh, uh, the mask, we saw uh, Ferdinand's uh, reaction to what he saw. And then uh, Prosper is sensing that uh, he has forgotten a very important uh, uh, thing 
um, about the conspiracy of Caliban and his associates. So he uh, lets Ferdinand and Miranda go inside the cave and then after uh, calling here again Ariel, uh, his dainty Ariel, his favorite uh, servant, he then assigns him the task of uh, bringing the three uh, uh, to him. And we saw uh, Ariel had already uh, done uh, his work of uh, um, uh, putting them into the filthy mental pool and uh, however they came out uh, uh, of it um, they were already drenched in uh, the hospice having lost their wine bottle and uh, uh, they are on the way uh, to murder uh, Prospero but M Prospero and Ariel have already planned uh, 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 to bait uh, these uh, conspirators so he hung uh, the beautiful clothings and then diverted their uh, mind of uh, uh, murder or taking some more time uh, to come to murder and uh, when they were uh, um, choosing the best plus hours for themselves you know uh, Ariel and uh, Prospero uh, um, instructed the servants uh, the spirits uh, uh, to become dogs and then uh, chase these three out and hence the act, act 4 sin 1 comes to end so this is what we have ended or act at first in one now we are left with only one more act at five in one so that is a very short act so I feel um, it's better we continue or uh, if there is any changes we'll again go for the next so thank you so much hope you understood what was explained today